Hey guys, here's the gear. We are going to be using Bear Stern Man again. I just really enjoyed it a couple shaves ago when I looked at Cheshire. And so Night Music is a quirky one that I really enjoy from Will. And I'm so grateful that he put it together. It's It got mixed reviews and a lot of people didn't like it. And, and that's unfortunate because it was something that was close to his heart. And uh, I think it was related to his mom something he did for his for his mom and so it's really too bad that he got the reception for it that he did um, the nasset blade is going to be today and we're looking at 485 will be the use count after today's shave on that blade we're going to put it in a timeless open comb 68 gap stainless steel razor i do have the uh, the scalloped or the grooved top cap um, but I find that the solid works just as well. This just happens to be the one that I thought looked nice with the open comb. The solid is on one of my other timeless razors. Uh, I'm going to use the same, I think I used this yesterday, the Wolf Whiskers handle and the uh, Umo super high density badger knot. And this is their Manchuria badger knot. Soft tips, easy splay. And I think it's a nice, nice type of backbone that it has because it's very dense, but I mounted it really high. And so I get not a lot of backbone. I get a kind of a medium amount of backbone, which is where I like to sit. But if you mount it at a normal depth, then you get firm backbone. So whichever way you want to go, I think that makes it a very flexible knot. Cold water is coming from the tap today. I just felt it. How about that? Let's load up the blade before we go too far. And here is the blade with its markings, 485. Gave me a nice shave yesterday with the Fatip, the Mark I open comb Fatip. I decided to step back to this one, which is a razor that is also working very well with the blade at this age. So water on my face. Almost exactly 24 hours of growth. One difference is I did put on some balm an hour or two ago. It was sitting at my desk and I decided I'd put it on for no real reason. The brush has been soaking for maybe 10 minutes. Not, not as long as I usually soak them for, but it should do the job just fine. Chocolate. And that, what is it, mousse de sacs that he calls it. Um, it's a very pungent, uh, almost like tobacco. And, no, and so for that reason, I could see why it would be so, uh, you know, uh, polarizing. But I can look past some of that harshness that I think a lot of people find disconcerting. And there's just this wonderful depth. It's, it's unique, and I find it very interesting. I like it a lot. And I think this type of scent mixed with that chocolate and... Are there berries in there too? It's been too long since I looked at the description. Um, but I think the chocolate is just a spot on perfect add to this type of, of scent. All right, so let's shake a lot of water out of the brush. This is the way I do it. And this hadn't been used in a while, I'm afraid. And so let's do 25 seconds of loading. Uh, 55 was right around there on the counter so go to the 21 mark because i started actually going at 56. really glad that the shaving community the makers started using these nice wide jars like sterling and barrister and man oh, i went just a couple of seconds over but that's all right because you get plenty of room to work with your brush. I've seen some of those really narrow containers like the Soap Commander, um, the Strop Shop had, and, I, and so many of them used the smaller ones. I don't really know uh, if I would have, if I was shaving with this kind of stuff at that time, I don't know if I would have used those. <laughs> I may have been just a scooping person back then where I would scoop out a quarter teaspoon or something like that 
instead of trying to use a brush in those narrow containers. And this one does have a little bit of coloration to it. I don't know if you can tell, but I certainly can. It's got a slight brownish tint to it, which is of course not surprising. If you look at the soap itself, we have to go back and get more soap, but let's just see what this gives us. This is the Glissant formula, which is one of my favorites from Will. I think this one is more of a, a true or soap type formula. Instead of trying to bring in skin goodies, I, I think it's the kind of slickness that I especially enjoy. And you can see the, the jaggedy points, the ridges that are, are more sharp with this early type of lather that needs a little bit more hydration. And when I say little, usually I mean a lot in this case. See that water changed it quite a bit, but we want to make sure to get a good mix. Looking very nice. I may have to go back in. Now, if you know you're going to have to go and get some more soap, Right now, my brush is uh, full of lather. And so if you go right back to the soap with it full of lather, then you, uh, you can make a mess. And you wonder, am I picking up enough soap? And so what I usually do is kind of squeeze out the brush. If I do go back in that case. But another thing you can do is knowingly overwater the ladder a little bit and knowing that when you get that wetness on your face and your fe it's feeling a little too thin now your brush is kind of clean and ready to receive more soap that's a good time to go back over to the tub and get a, a couple of seconds more loading and then you bring that back to your face and then later on back to your bowl. And that's a, a good way to bring soap back to your bowl without making as big of a mess. Well, I think I, I've kind of been quick to add water today. And so I think that's brought the lather here up a little quicker than usual to its nice mature state. Well, we'll see if I need to add more water, uh, more soap. Pretty sure I don't need to add more water. Splash a bit on my, on my face here. Night music. Yeah, it's so wet you can see it flying around there. So before I keep losing, before I keep more stuff being removed, Let's go back here. One, two, three. Might be all I need. Early on, I would go back for more soap and I would end up getting, going back for maybe five or 10 seconds and it would, it would be too much soap that I would pick up. And so then I would have to switch to putting more water on the brush. So yeah, that has thickened me up a little bit. And in a way, I kind of like it this way where it helps me out a little bit on this pass. And if I need to go back in the second pass 
and go in again for a few seconds and I'm fine with that. You know, that balm I put on a couple hours ago could actually be affecting my lather right now. The oils and things like that, that can negatively affect the buildup of your lather. All right, let's try this out. What a great scent. I can, I can see why he would put this scent together. I could see, uh, I, I could see him, Will, uh, a barrister man, uh, contemplating this and thinking, man, should I bring this to the shaving community? Because I bet there are people who just love it. And indeed, I can remember seeing a few guys out there, hey, if anybody has any more night music, I want it. I remember for a while there, it was on the sale pages, you know, for on the secondhand marketplace. And sometimes that is a great thing because if you're like me and you sometimes like the quirky stuff, you sometimes like the non-mainstream type, either uh, bases or the non-mainstream scents, Man, when the mainstream picks up an oddity that they don't quite understand or just don't appreciate, and that's okay, everybody can have their opinion, then you're able to come in and really get some good stuff for a nice low price, help people out because they're trying to get rid of it. Water on my face now. And at the same time, you get something that you really especially enjoy. Charge up my brush again. If you have never gotten, if you've got a good quality soap, and you've never gotten your lather to the point where stuff is flinging off like this. If you've never gotten it that wet, give it a shot sometime. I'm not saying that's going to be where you'll like your lather. But I think most shavers owe it to themselves to give, give that a try. Because you may discover on your way to that, maybe that point is too wet for you. But what if a point back or a step back farther than that is is where you might especially enjoy your shaves, the slickness that you might get. Really enjoying the slickness here. I have a barrister and man lather tub of soap from when he, uh, I'm sorry, the lather line, you know, they did it a while back. Um, and it's the sandalwood scent. I'm dying to try that again. I'm a, I'm a big time sandalwood fan, but it, it needs to be the kind of sandalwood that's Really kind of more uh, a straightforward sandalwood scent instead of the uh, an English type that like Taylor of Old Bond Street might do or uh, uh, just uh, uh, D.R. Harris, I think their sandalwood is kind of similar where they mix in some floral notes or some powder notes or, or something and they, they add to it. And yeah, sure, for decades, that's what guys have enjoyed as a sandalwood scent. And it's just by nature involving all those other pieces. But for me, I just like that sandalwood part. And his new, newer sandalwood release, Will's newer one, is just, I really like it a lot. But I'm curious if my tastes have changed, if my nose has changed a little bit to where I might enjoy the old lather sandalwood that he did. So we'll see about that. I almost used it today, but 
uh, it's a new, a brand new tub. And just in case I don't like it um, as much, I've just got so many soaps that I do like. I wanted to, I want to be able to pass it on to somebody. Um, and so I'm going to scoop from it instead of brush loading. And I didn't feel like taking the time to try to find my scooper and all that. And so I went with something I, I know that I love and I'm going to keep around so that I can brush load. And sure enough, here we are. I think this is three passes now and it's not a thick lather by any means. But it is slippery. And that matters more than thickness to me. And even if you don't think it matters to you, it really kind of is the only thing that matters anyway. Because if you're a shaver, it's that slippery little surface on the top of your skin that is all the difference that helps you do your job. Man, this croissant is just terrific. Try to attack that little trouble spot with an aggressive, with as much aggression as I just did. I'm going to quit that. I'm going to do that for the next pass. Water now. Now I do have a, a really wet lather here, and so I could rightly dab my face with a towel. But here we go with the fourth pass. And my, yeah, I can definitely squeeze five passes out of this lather because inside the brush is more than you think. But I think I'll just stick with the four passes. Okay, now I've got that on my face. Why don't we go ahead and do the squeeze? And it's still, now that means I've gotten a good mix. Look at that. The stuff inside my brush is just as wet as the stuff I've been using so far. So that means I've gotten very good circulation, you know, through my brush, good flow through, and all those things. Oh, super slick. Probably a scent that my family is not going to like too much. However, my little girl, if I tell her, can you smell the chocolate in this? If she's able to pull out that chocolate, and it, it's not strong, the chocolate part, if she was able to pull that out, she might. She might see the value. She might really come to see it and appreciate it even at a young age. All right. And there we go. Yeah, and see, oh, residual slickness. Very good, very good. Loosen up the head, get water through the blade there, shake it out, and a good rinse now. Here's what the brush looks like after a towel dry. It doesn't clump like the, uh, it's not super jelly, it's not jelly at all really, and uh, so it's not, it looks pretty good, it almost looks like it's dry, and it's not a bore brush, and so it doesn't clump because of that either. So he's a... Umo SHD Manchuria. I really like that one. And how much water did we use? 20. 23. 23 milliliters of water to make that lather. It was on the wet side, but it worked pretty well. And it was very slick. It may have been messy, but it worked well. I am enjoying a faint, the faint smell 
of the soap here. I don't think I'm going to put on a post shave. The water is kind of cool. We're starting to get into October now. So my tap water is getting colder. And so it does a very refreshing job of cooling my face after the shave, kind of healing a little bit, uh, calming down any inflammation. does a great job doing that. And so if I put any splash later, um, it'll be like an hour or so uh, when this scent fades. I'm just really enjoying it. So I think that's today's shave. Very good. You guys uh, take care. Hope you got something out of it. Have a good night.